And uh, for instance, he was totally against me giving him up playing violin. I had to practice one hour every day whilst hearing all the boys playing football and in summer days. But I promise you, today it's my great pleasure to come tight and I put mine in swan and I play Vivaldi, I play Bach, I initiate organs and I last time had a concert with the ambassador of Great Britain in Slovakia and we played Vivaldi on an organ which was thrown out by the communists, was preserved by a priest for 30 years. We restored it into its full glory and then before the bishop blessed I was able to remember my father how I hated him to practice every day and today I can play with the ambassador on one of the most famous instruments which was discarded and rebuilt to its full glory and that is what it's all about sometimes we think the medicine doesn't taste good but it brings uh, uh, the results now uh, of course you are all winners and it's been said that uh, it i don't think one of the uh, 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 bill week said that i don't think winning is the most important thing i think it's the only thing and i agree with him the only thing to go for is to be a winner i know we say that it is not important to win but to participate but believe you me that st statement was made by a loser it was not made. <laughs> it was not made uh, 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 by a winner so today we have the uh, 15 students for the scholarship, the Star Awards, and the Goya Award. As you have from Goya, it's 15,000 pounds and 7,500 for the running up. And as you know, recently there has been a raid in one of the famous museums in Paris where they stole 430 million worth of masterpieces, which included Picasso, Matisse, Modigliani, Lerge, but not Goya. Goya is the only one who has not been stolen. And I guarantee you, the Goya you're going to get tonight will never be able to be taken away from you. Nobody will take away from you the aspiration, the sweat, the anxiety you've had for all these years whilst you've studied. Today really is tribute to the people who made it possible, the university and your parents, and you who took the achievement, you took the advantage of the condition this great institution created for you. And uh, of course, uh, what I would like to tell you is the six most important part or ingredients is over success, which is sincerity, sincerity, personal integrity, humility, courtesy, wisdom, and above all, charity. And you are proving the charity today because you will share the prize with the university. You will share your winning and say thank you to the university by giving them half your winnings, which is a great thought. It is uh, uh, been devised. The whole guy had been done by Alistair here, who's worked very hard, and he thought he could retire, but I talked him out of it. We are working on many other uh, uh, many other uh, schemes. On, on uh, for instance, we are working on the charity called Help for Widows. I was the founder of Help for Heroes, which is for the soldiers which come injured uh, from the wars in. Afghanistan, Iraq, but now nobody looks after the widows which are left. So we are starting a charity to also look after widows. Mr. Uh, Vice Chancellor, we I thank you on behalf of all the parents, of all the students, for creating a wonderful opportunity which will allow them to claim the great prizes tonight because without your help, we would have never achieved it. Thank you very much. First of all, we've got scholarship winners. So the Train to Gain scholarship has been awarded to 15 students. And the first student that I'm going to ask to come up, please. First student I'm going to ask to come up is Ray Brown. Ray Brown has worked in the IT industry for 23 years in retail and corporate environments and in sales training, technical sports and management roles. In 2006, he joined membership for the CID as an investigation officer and he came to us to do an MSc in Computer Security and Forensics, which he completed with a distinction this year. So, very proud.
Now to one of our first year students, Giles Burgess, who is a uh, first year who's just completed his computer science with honours in, uh, uh, in computer science in the department. His work's been of a really high standard this year and it's been reflected in his grades. He's shown technical excellence and proactive learning. So, uh, The next recipient is Laura Collins. Laura's completed the first year of the Bachelor of Science with honours in Computer Security and Forensics. It's one of the people benefiting from the donation that um, we've got from Jan earlier. She has worked hard and achieved good grades in all subjects and is very proactive in team management. Igor is a computer science engineer with a BSc from the Polytechnic University of Bucharest, Romania, and previously worked for Hostway Romania. He's currently pursuing an MSc in computer networking. Igor. Our next recipient is Terence Cutler. He's completed the second year of his Bachelor of Science with honours in Computer Security and Forensics. He's extremely hard working and, and it's been demonstrated in his grades. And all of these have been a grade A or A plus. So. a student who's shown the benefits of coming to university, um, and that's Ronald Adema. Ronald is a mature student and has achieved an upper second class degree in his Bachelor of Science with honours in Computer Security and Forensics. He works tirelessly in the department and his work has been consistently at a high standard. recipient is Barry Norton. Barry is one of our first year students in undertaking a Bachelor of Science with honours in Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. It's great to see you have been exceptional in all of his units. Barry. Ayadeji Omatadi. Ayadeji is an information systems graduate from London Guildhall University. Uh, he previously worked as a software engineer and worked in several industries, including telecommunications, government, and utilities. And he's currently embarking on a full time course in MSc course in computer security and forensics. Tiago Enriquez. Tiago has undertaken an MSc by research in the field of digital forensics, again inspired by the laboratory donated by Jan. Tiago is a keen student, has always been ready to help other students, and has an inquiring mind. Tiago's enthusiasm is infectious and has helped drive forward extracurricular study groups. He hopes to take, undertake a PhD after his MSc. <laughs> Edewedi Oriwo. Edewedi is an electronic and computer engineering graduate from Nigeria and she's been studying an MSc in computer security and forensics, which she's just completed with a distinction. She's worked 